Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So the Cherry Blossom Festival is now out and as usual you want to come to your capital, go to your Hero Hall and there's a portal over there and I just apparently got a jewelry thing but that's fine, we won't worry about that. But yeah, this um, this festival is mostly cosmetic furniture stuff, there's no like costume that will give you labour or anything like that. But I will go over the rewards and we'll have a little look at what you can get in the end. So this event is over in Villanelle in Haranya. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I, I feel like I am. But yeah, as usual, this event's on for 14 days and you can get some really fun cherry blossom furniture, which we'll see in a moment. But yeah, first of all, we'll come on in. We get this quest here to report to that guy over there. We'll get this quest, which is the cherry rice wine. And for this one, we're actually going to need a few items. So we're going to need to make the fruit punch, which requires 30 rice and 15 orchard puree. And you can either buy them off the auction or you can get you or you can farm them. You can send your farm hand out to do it as well. That's something that I'm going to be doing for this event. I'll just have my farm hand getting rice or cherries or something. Actually, you know what? I'm going to plant cherry trees and then I'll just have my farm hand plant rice or something so I can actually collect stuff for the event. But for now, I will get some off the auction. So yeah, you want to get 30 rice, 50 impure, and then we're going to bring this over here and make ourselves one cherry rice wine. And that is that quest complete. All right, and the cherry rice wine will just give you your attack speed, cast time, and your evasion. The usual stuff that you get off the event buffs. But then we have a few more quests over this way. We have this one, which requires you to hand over 50 fabric. So again, I'm just going to buy some off the auction just because it's easier. So 50 of those, 13 gold. Sure, hand that in. And then we get another five tokens off that one so that one's going to give us a lot and then we have the timed event over here which is to go kill a giant bee which gives you free coins and you can do that three times a day the times on those are for eu 2 p.m 7 p.m and 12 a.m utc and for na it's 7 p.m 12 a.m and 5 a.m utc which for me is like two hours off for some reason so in my case it's actually 12 p.m 5 p.m and 10 p.m so I don't, I don't know the times are a little off in our cage all the time but it is what it is but yeah this event takes place up on the hill over here where everyone's waiting and a big bee will spawn you kill the bee and then it drop leaves behind a hive that you have to press f on so what you can do is just switch over to alts and pick it up once it spawns the hive and that's an easy free coins but yeah there is one of a quest hidden away just over here and this is a very easy one to miss, but it's just the water. Three, three different plants. And there's a little area over here that you can sit down in. I remember everyone used to sit here on their alts back on Legacy. But uh, yeah, let's go, go ahead. We'll turn that in. And that gives us an extra coin. So, so far, that's seven coins. And then if we come back on over here down the stairs, we have this last quest to do as well. So we're going to grab both of these now the other quest i picked up off her is to give in free cherries so what you do want to do is you're going to want to plant some cherry tr cherry trees at your house or your farm so you can just have a few on you at all times just to hand in you're not going to need that many and honestly if you just have one cherry tree down it should be enough but i just put two down because it gets the job done turn that one in and then the other is to plant a cherry sapling now i think what most people do is they come over here and they'll just plant it anywhere along this hill and to get the cherry sapling you want to buy it for vocation and it should be on the fifth page there we go fifth page you buy one of those and throw it down yeah and once you've planted that down you want to come back over here and you can turn that quest in as well and yeah if you're just doing the normal quests overall you should get nine cherry blossom festival coins but if you also do one of the timed on top you're gonna get 11 so without doing the timed one it's nine a day that being 14 days you're gonna make hold on quick maths so that's like 126 if you're missing out on the timed quests but the timed event quest but 
if you do all of those, you can get quite a bit. But yeah, now we'll go take a look at the rewards that you can get for doing this event over on Mirage Isle. So let's head on over there. So yeah, we want to come up to the Festival Gift Exchange here. And then we have the Cherry Blossom Festival right up here. And here's a list of all the stuff we can get. And again, all of this is really just cosmetic. There's nothing super useful if you're looking to, you know, buff up or get some free labor or something. There's none of that here. But if you're looking for furniture and some Cherry Blossom cosmetics, then here you go. You have the Cherry Blossom loot, which is 70 coins. And this is tradable. So again, if you want to get this on an alt and trade it over or buy one off the auction, you can always do that. You then have the Spring Scent Coronet, which is a piece of a headwear you can wear, some flowers on your head, which are very nice. And then you have the Cherry Blossom Reflecting Pull. And this is a very nice piece of furniture. This is probably the piece of furniture I want the most out of this. It's like a small little chair that your character sits in. It's like a little, small little pond with rocks and a little cherry tree and your character sort of leans up against the tree or sits on the rocks. So I'm probably gonna get a few of these. They are only 30 coins as well. And again, also tradable. So that's very nice. And then you have a small Everbloom cherry tree, which is just a small cherry tree. And then you have the large one which is a slightly bigger version of the small one, but actually the same price as well. So, hey, go big or go home, I guess. You know, they're both 30 coins. I'm gonna, probably going to get the big ones. But, uh, yeah, we then also have the brown hole Yatta Joy painting, the pink hole Joy hole Yatta Joy painting, and the purple hole Yatta Joy painting. And these are just three different paintings you can get. They, I believe they look kind of the same. But I'll, again, try and pull images up of these. And they're all 20 coins each. And again, all tradable. This is then the decorative cherry blossom loot. Which you can just lean up against the wall in your house. And it can't be played. So, again, it is just decoration. It's not one of those ones you can put down and play in your house. And then, last of all, we have the origin of the cherry blossom festival book. Now, there is an achievement tied to this. I believe if you get it, it gives you three coins or five coins. We tried this on stream because I wanted to check the achievements for it. So yeah, you do get some coins from this. It's not really worth it though, because you're going to be spending 20 to get three coins in an achievement. But if you're an achievement hunter and you really want to get the achievements, then feel free to go ahead and pick up the book. But yeah, that is it for the Cherry Blossom Festival. Again, it's mostly just Cherry Blossom themed cosmetics there's no no buffs no uh no labor not not like that so if that's what you're looking for you can skip this event if you events if you really feel that way but yeah um i'm probably gonna get a bunch of those reflecting pulls because they're kind of cool but yeah that's it for this video so uh yeah thanks for watching like comment subscribe all the usual youtube stuff also, we have the Discord, so feel free to jump in there. We have an arcade ch chat in there, which is kind of cool. I ask you guys for help on stuff and all, all that good stuff, and then a Twitch as well. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.